when I had my third child and she was six months old, I had another, um, I had a two year old and a three year old, a six month old baby. And then my husband walked out of the marriage and left me holding the babies. Mum to millionaire.com. Hey, it's Vina V and welcome to episode 79 of the Mum to Millionaire podcast. We've never talked about this on the show before. No, we haven't. It's all about homeschooling. Yes. This amazing lady right here, she's got four children. She runs her own business called Busy Mum Workouts. Please welcome to the podcast, Faye. Hey! Yeah, I love it. You're doing this. No one guess has done this before. Yes. What an awesome <laughs> intro. <laughs> Thank you, Vina. This My lady. head is swelling now. <laughs> I've never had such an intro before. I need, to, um, <laughs> I need to explain where we are. So we just have had, had our mentoring session. Yes, we so did. So I mentor Faye about how she can use YouTube in her business. Yeah. She's got her kids here. We've got one of them in the room with us, yes. currently sleeping. So, so that's why I wanted this kind of, it looks like we're in a kind of classroom or something at the moment. Yes. Um, but you're seriously amazing. Oh, thank you're you, You're always Fina. upbeat when I see you, always happy, always positive. And you've got your little crew with you. Yes, we're a gang. All my gang. Time. Yes. People always describe us as a family of ducks. Oh. And <laughs> I always say that. I'm Mummy Duck. And after me, you've oh. got one, two, three, four. So you usually oh. see me and them together. If you don't see me with them, something's up. Something's wrong. Oh, something else. Yeah, <laughs> something's wrong. Seriously wrong. We're always together. Coming up, we are going to talk about then how to homeschool children because I've been in the position where things weren't going great with my son at school yeah. and I sat there and I thought, oh, I'm just going to homeschool him. But then I actually thought, do you know what? <laughs> I can't do this. I'm going to have to leave my son in the system and he's going to have... Because I can't... I just don't know how you do it. Before we get onto that, before Faye gives you her advice and tips on if you want to homeschool yes. and the reality, if it's difficult, all that kind of stuff... Before we get into that, I want to talk more about you because you've been through a lot. You're yes, a single mum with am. four kids. And I mean, you ha tell us some of the things you have been through. It hasn't been easy. No, it's n not been easy at all. Um, yes, Vina's right. I'm a mum, uh, single parent of four kids. Uh, my kids are now aged 10, 9, seven and two I oh had to think God. about that because we've all just had birthdays within six weeks of each other oh wow so yeah I'm very very busy parties and stuff like that presents wrapping them up the usual and now we've got Christmas so you can imagine I'm yeah. a bit like a headless chicken at the moment but yes I've been through a lot um when I had my third child and she was six months old I had another um, I had a two-year-old and a three-year-old a six-month-old baby and then my husband walked out of the marriage and left me holding the babies. 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 <laughs> Even for you then, I mean, you don't have to go personally into this if you don't want to, but do you ever know why he did he just get up and leave and just leave you or yeah it was a, very much like that it was one of those sudden moments for me anyway I mean probably for him it might be something that had been in his mind for a while yeah. I really don't know um you know I'm honestly saying that I really don't know mm. but for me it was very sudden because um you know it, it, everyone has problems in marriages you know you have yeah. fights we bickered like normal couples and and I guess we probably were bickering a lot more now being that I had a newborn baby and we shouldn't have been bickering considering it's yeah. the joys I mean it's a wonderful experience it's like you know it should be happy times but we were still bickering and I guess that might have been the culmination for him. Whereas for me, I was just thinking, listen, you know, I'm a new mummy. I don't have time for this. We don't yeah. need this arguments. We don't need this to be going on. And it was literally a sudden thing. Like it was like one day, um, he literally just picked up his bags and walked out the door. And that was yeah. it. And I kind of thought he was going for some fresh air. Can you imagine not knowing that your husband's leaving you? I kind of didn't no, know. <laughs> I literally can't even, it's like even like, you know, you're laughing about it now and stuff, but obviously at the time, that like I can't even imagine just being at home, your husband's going out the door, okay, bye, I'll see you in an hour, but then he just never. Yeah, I, you know, that was, that was the funny thing because, you know, we'd had this row and he walked out and I literally did think he was going to get some fresh air and then the next thing he comes back and I thought, okay, he's come back and then he was angry at me for not noticing that he'd gone out and I said, but you've gone out for a walk. I thought you cleared your hair, your, you know, yeah. get your hair, you know. 
get some fresh air and stuff like that. And he was like, no, I'm leaving. And I've now come back to get my bags. And I was like, oh, and that was it. And, you know. Have you ever talked, because he still sees your children. Yes. In so fact, can I say we are actually at a place now where we communicate a lot. Yeah. We... I mean, dare I say, we are now friends. Mm. I know that sounds hard to, to hear. Um, so, yes, he does communicate with the children. He sees the children. Um, but I think that has a lot to say about you as a person because a lot of people, and it is hard. Yeah. I mean, my you know ex abused me and I'm still, I have to be friends with, with him. him yeah. now because for the sake of just, I believe in life to move forward, you have to forgive. You do. You don't forget. You don't. You never forget, but you have to forgive them even people watching this might think, well, how could you do that if yeah. someone hurt you yeah. or left you in your case? But you have to, otherwise you as the mum will, will never move forward. That's and you'll right. you'll continuously be angry. Yeah, you'll continually so. be angry, you'll be bitter. Yeah. You can't even um, move forward because the thing is, someone's left you and when they leave you, they leave you in such a state. I mean, you know, they're leaving you in a state where it's a bit like me versus you because that's really what's mm -hmm. going on. And they've, they've internalized it that you are no good for them, that, you know, being with you is the worst thing that's ever happened to them. So they're setting out to hurt you. So when they leave you, they are trying, they, they're using that to hurt you. They're trying to say, you know, you can't get up from this because you need me. And so it's important for you to understand that this isn't really about you um, personally, it's about them. Yeah. And therefore, because it's about them, you now have a choice. Because I said that to myself. I sat down, I kind of looked and I thought, wait a minute, I didn't choose for this to happen. Yeah. I'm married. I have my children in marriage, you know. I walked down the aisle with this person. So for me, it was definitely till death do us part. And he's left now. So now I still have a choice because that was not my decision. Okay, so what decisions can you make now? Yeah. So I started writing down all my, what decisions I was going to make. I was like, right, I choose to be happy. I choose not to let this define me. I choose not to let this get me down. I choose not to let it affect my children. I choose that we're going to have a great life. I choose that I'm going to get better than this. Mm. And I wrote those down. And that's what I've been running with ever since. That's amazing. That's Seriously, because it. it's so difficult yeah. when you're in the moment, when stuff is happening to you for you to respond the like right that. way, yeah. But if you did respond in, uh, respond in the other way, that would have hurt you emotionally. Definitely. And your children. So again... I would have had a breakdown because exactly. I was a new mum. Yeah. So I had a newborn baby six months old. <sighs> then I had a two-year-old. And also I had a three-year-old. Even that, even one three-year-old by itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard <laughs> enough. Is it now? Exactly. But again, if, you know, if someone watching this is going through what they went through, number one, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Definitely. It's not, honestly, not easy now for you, but it's got better. You're more positive. Your yes. children are so amazing as well. Yes. But that is amazing to have done that because, again, what we were saying, like, you can get angry, you can get bitter. That's right. right. That, well, do what they did. I think that's such a I did, and logical I, way. And I stuck it up. It, I wrote it down so many times. It wasn't a one yeah. piece. I wrote it on a piece of paper and stuck it in the kitchen. Then I wrote it on a piece of paper and stuck it in the bedroom. I wrote it on a piece of paper and stuck it in the bathroom. I wrote it on a piece of paper and yeah. stuck it in my wardrobe. Everywhere, even where the plates yeah. are. And I'd open the cupboard to get the plates. So imagine you're angry and you're thinking, blood, yeah. hey, whatever. I'd open it and I'd see it. And then I'd be like, I choose to be happy, you know. And I can share with you so many other tips that I did, you know, like um, a friend of mine, we were talking about this the other day and she's gone through some difficult challenges. And I said, you know, the thing is, there's so many things I adopted, you know, no one told me, but I just, because I was on this journey yeah. of, I'm not going to let it affect me. I used to save his name under a different name mm -hmm. on my phone. So one, I saved on a different name because I did not want the children to get upset if they saw uh, but, that yeah. daddy was calling. And especially if you and daddy have had a conversation earlier where you were arguing, you know that this conversation is not going to be a good one. You're going to carry on. So why, you know, make your children be upset and know that that's what's happening, that, oh, my God, it's mummy and daddy and they're arguing again. So I'd save it on a different 
name. And then sometimes the kids will go, oh, mummy, it's so-and-so. And I'll go, oh, yeah, don't worry, mummy's going to call them back, you know, because mummy's dinner time, mm. you know. And so it made it easier. And then what I would do is I'll call him back later when he's calm, I'm calm, and then you can actually have yeah. those conversations because That's you feel under pressure yeah. to pick up that call. Because you know who's on the other end. Yeah. And then you're also you're under pressure because you're thinking, oh, my God, the kids know. But actually, they don't know. Yeah. They only know what you tell them. And also in terms of that, <laughs> that emotion, anger, it does not benefit anything. No. When you get angry, and I do this sometimes, my son will do something, and sometimes I shouldn't react how I do, and I'll just, like, shout or get angry. And then after, I think, did that even help the situation? Yeah, yeah. It ne anger never solves anything. You have to do, and that's a really good response, what you were doing. Even though if you're angry, sometimes after a few hours, you've calmed down. You've calmed them. down, yeah. So I never try to have those conversations where straight, straight away. Mm. And a lot of the time, if I had a conversation with him where I was getting angry and he was getting angry, I would just cut the phone off. Yeah. And obviously, he would get angry because you've cut the phone off. Mm. So you know that they're going to call you back because they want to have a go at you. Yeah. So the best thing to do is don't have that conversation then at that time. You calm down because then when they do come back, if they're still angry, you can just still say, OK, listen, I know you're still angry. I'm not. And I'm not ready for this conversation until mm. you have calmed down as well. And then you yeah. end the conversation. Then they call back. And now we do that a lot. Even if we, even now, we still row. Yeah. But now it's very much really funny. We get over it so quickly. We're both like, okay, I'll call you back because you're not listening. And he's like, I'll call you back because you're not listening. <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, you call me back. But even to get to down. that place, I think it does take a practice. practice. Because sometimes I say stuff like, yeah, don't react like that. But I still do it. Of course you do. Because I'm human. And, yeah. But I, I think the difference is some people will never notice that they're doing that. Yeah. Otherwise, I will, if I do get angry and I know I shouldn't have done it, after I'll be like, oh, do you know what? I shouldn't have done that. And then I'll call off after. Good. Do that's, you know what I mean? That's or then the I'll learn for next time and think, okay, last time I reacted like this and it didn't solve anything. Yeah. So it does take time because we're all human. If someone's emotionally hurt, you've been with someone or yeah, whatever it is, it, yeah. it's, not, it's not easy. But uh, not at all. Because, you know, for me, the trust was shattered, yeah. you know. So I was justified in being angry, to be honest. Mm. And, you know, especially like, you know, you said you were in an abusive relationship. You were justified to be angry yeah. as well because you did not expect someone to treat you like that. You exactly, yeah. wanted your, you know, you expect your husband to value mm. you. I expected my husband to love me, to mean those vows yeah. and not walk away from me. I mean, we said those vows in front of our friends and our family. Mm. So I was devastated, but I just kept remembering the choices that I did have, you know, and I kept saying to myself, I have a choice here. How I respond to this is my mm. choice. And when I did flare up and when I did do wrong, I corrected myself. Because the thing is, some people, they, you know, you make the mistake and then they beat themselves up. And then when you beat yourself up and you keep on beating yourself up and you give, all you're doing is just doing the same thing. You're just beating yourself up. Just say, OK, I did wrong. Put your hands up. Exactly. As yeah. I tell my kids. Say sorry. Every, you know, I always say to them. And forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Because so many times, again, I would act, uh, you know, angrily to my son. And then for ages after, even a month after, I'd be like, it would affect me. Because yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I responded like that. But you have to forgive yourself. Because then right. again, that is when you can go down. Yeah. That downward spiral. Uh, spiral. And something I always say to myself, every day I wake up, I say, today is a new opportunity. That's right. To change your life. So even if I didn't, do particularly well the day before if I acted in a certain way or didn't get as much work done whatever it was I say do you know what today is a new, is a new opportunity to change that's right and it is and I agree with that and I would even go further because what I do with my children is that if they start the day wrong because sometimes children their emotions mm -hmm. so you've made this you've said that to yourself that it's going to be a, a wonderful opportunity great day mm -hmm. and then your son does something totally ridiculous <laughs> and makes you scream and then you think Today is a new <laughs> today. What so what I do is when that happens, I send my kids back to bed and I physically ah, say, it. right, everyone back to bed. Mm. Don't step out in that bed until you're actually sure yeah. and you've thought about what today's gonna be like for you. Oh, because really like you are affecting mummy right now by your behaviour yeah. and 
I've made up my mind that today's going to be a great day. And right now, you guys are spoiling it. Mm. Get back to me. <laughs> and then I literally... I love that you literally start the day. The day again. again. And we then do. we all wake up again and say, today's is a good treat. And you can all say it together and mean it. You know, that's it. That's what I do. <laughs> and they all go back. And they spend five minutes and they think about it. And one by one, I'm like, you're not allowed to come down until you really mean yeah. it. So they all have to sit down and think. And they all come and they go, oh, today I'm going to be this, 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 this. And I say, do you mean it? They go, yeah. And, and you find that throughout the day because it's also a choice. Yeah. You've given them that choice. They're conscious about mm -hmm. it. It's their decision, not yours. I love, I love that so much. <laughs> so that's what we do. Such a good, do you know what, Faye? You're such a good parent. No, seriously, you yeah. are. Like, we all need Don't to ask the kids. This. Don't ask the kids. <laughs> Well, we'll put a video at the end of this video and be like, right, kids, what is your mum written on? She's strict. Um, <laughs> mum to millionaire.com. Hello, my beautiful mum to million era stars. <laughs> How are you all doing? Oh my God, what an amazing interview so far. This is part one. So many great takeaways. And if you want to see Faye at the mum to millionaire meetup on the 17th of May, click on that card that pops up right now to book your ticket or go to mum to millionaire.com forward slash meetup. Not only will you see Faye, we've got another amazing speaker that's going to teach you all about how to utilize Facebook to build your business. And we've got two hours of networking with amazing positive women who can really help you to be happy and successful in your life. Coming up next, click on the little picture that you're going to see because because then you, you can watch part two of this interview where we talk all about homeschooling. It's all time.